47-year-old Bert Abraham is the latest casualty in a ripple of gun violence that has spread rapidly across Belize City since the beginning of the new year. Known in the Gungulung community as a small-time peddler, Bert had reportedly just sold a little quantity of marijuana to a neighbor when death would come knocking at his gate. The succession of gunshots came quickly, and by the time relatives took notice, he was already on the ground bleeding profusely from multiple injuries. His sister's recollection begins with a customer stopping by for a catch of weed. Somebody come by and my brother got to sell it. Uh, after my brother got to sell it, he got outside, he sell the boy and the boy gone and he got outside and put down the thing. And when he got put down the thing, same time in a lot of a vehicle they come, vehicle they come and then the vehicle bump on the dog. When the vehicle bump the dog, then the dog saw the ball and the vehicle stop. Then after that, when I look, the vehicle spread off, and when the vehicle spread off, then I hear shots start to lick up. Those rounds would find their mark in Abraham's chest and back. In the ensuing commotion, the buyer has since been detained as a suspect. His mother, a close friend of Abraham's sister, vehemently denies her son's involvement in the execution. They say, my son, me come by, I don't know come by. And my son say, he me don't go and go to business, and know the police and go with my son. Right? And my son innocent. My son don't know nothing about that because the difference of thing right here. My son don't know. Abraham's sibling, who was inside the yard at the time of the deadly spray, recalls seeing someone fleeing on foot when the shooting subsided. When I look at this, some little run wrong the lane. That's all. I went out the hell after my brother, he no respond. And when I got, I hurry, jump over and gang and hit a lady and I try to catch taxi, make them care. Nobody then, one of, one of my friends come see it and then I tell her that he. So he didn't tell me the whole, um, I tell him we are Karen, make we care on. Same time when we made the Karen, the police go and they know why we move on. My brother, I still made the breathe down there. I tell him, make we care my brother, and they say we can't touch him. Then went on for that day, pronounced and say he did. Despite the incident unfolding in plain sight, Abraham's sister is clueless as to who may have pulled the trigger. She isn't pointing any finger at her neighbor's son. I can't say that who killed my brother, cause I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. I really, I don't want to tell a lie. And where I, I just say what I say, I left it in the last hand, and he speaks for everything, and I know and he cut my brother out of life, and he never deserve it because he no gang bang. Minerva Belial, the mother of the person of interest presently in police custody, openly provides an alibi for her son. According to the elderly woman, she had just met her son on Holy Emanuel Street prior to the armed assault. All well, I want to lie though. That please let go my son, because my son don't know nothing. My son passed me on the street, and I made up on the street. At that time, no shooting ever going on. We get inside, and then after that, the shooting. You understand? I just want to let go my son, because my son tell me he don't know nothing about that. This afternoon, a team of officers from Eastern Division South, led by Deputy Commander Alden Dawson, descended on Holy Manual Street. Their presence in the area is not to crack down on the criminal elements, but to allay any fears that residents may have of an imminent reprisal. There is this belief that there is an ongoing war on the streets of Belize City. How do you allay the fears of these residents in light of what has taken place, particularly here on Emmanuel Street, for instance? Well, like I said, we go out and we hear the concern. And uh, these people are the people who live in the different area and they know what, what uh, is going on with them and what how the police can assist them. And that is what we do in this initiative, this meet and greet initiative, to hear the concern and then we try our best to, to, uh, to put in place what they request. No arrests in the murder of Bert Abraham have been made so far, despite the apprehension of one person. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Keitano.